Does this noise sound familiar to you? Originally conceptualized in the wake of the discovery of electromagnetism, electromagnetic telegraphy became the platform from which Morse code was developed. Sent through pulses of electric currents, early telegraphs were designed to receive the pulses in a series of coded patterns that translated to letters and numbers. With the arrival of the first commercial telegraph, patented by William Cook and Charles Wheatstone, a variety of codes were developed to communicate via electromagnetic waves. With the growth and popularity of electromagnetic telegraphs came the interest in developing a cohesive communication system. So, along comes the artist Samuel Morse, physicist Joseph Henry, and mechanical engineer Alfred Vail, who created what later became known as Morse code. Initially, this code was transmitted by electric currents that triggered the machine's stylus to form indentations on paper tape, but over time, audio transmissions were developed so that what once had to be read on paper before being transcribed could instead be presented aloud, concurrent with transcription, thus speeding up the process altogether. On the original telegraph machines, audio transmissions occurred when the stylus clicked in and out of place creating either a dit or a da sound. How this works is, electromagnetic waves are sent out by one telegraph through wiring that is then picked up by the receiver at the other end. When Morse code was adapted for radio transmission, these sounds were sent as tones that sounded a lot more like what we're familiar with today. Morse code consists of dots and dashes. For the sake of clarity, it runs on a rhythm where one dot counts as one unit, one dash counts as three units, the space between two letters counts as three units worth of silence, and the space between two words counts as seven units worth of silence. This rhythmic structure helps listeners to distinguish between letters, words, and sentences when the only tools of expression are a dot and a dash. The letters themselves are formed by various arrangements of dots and dashes, where no two letters are composed of the same combination. Morse code initially did not take universal use into account, so things like accent marks over letters were not included, meaning non-English speakers could not use the original format for their own languages. With this came the transformation of Morse code to the International Morse Code, for many years, Morse code was sent over the radio as an efficient way to communicate in the Air Force, the Navy, and as independent radio operators. Modern technology allows us to now communicate in more efficient ways, rendering Morse code essentially obsolete. However, it's still taught and upheld to some capacity by major institutions. Can you understand Morse code?